Uh, Penn, you're, you're with us today because you're collaborating with Children's Home Society of Washington, which I know is a very important cause to you. Uh, you're doing an auction that is running right now until this Friday, September 29th. Uh, so tell us a bit more about that and why you chose to work with CHSW. Yeah, so I've just I've had a soft spot in my heart a long time for uh, foster children and children in need. And, um, you know, I've, I've had it on my heart for a while trying to get involved. And I think this year uh, finally had some momentum and the help of my agency. And we we were able to make that partnership. And um, I wanted to do an auction. I originally had some thought to get music involved. I'm a huge guitar player. I love music. And, you know, Seattle's got quite the music background with you know, Pearl Jam, Jimi Hendrix, Soundgarden, a lot of music culture there. And um, I kind of wanted to meld the two. And this year, um, being the first the first run at it, we're going to try and incorporate the music later on. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a first time partnership with them. Hopefully we can keep that running and make it a yearly thing. Um, but we're super excited. We've gotten a lot of good traction so far. And it's been it's been a joy to work with their team. They've been wonderful. And um, it's a great cause. We're going to get some good supplies and um, help to some some people in need and, uh, you know, help out some of the kids in underserved communities in the greater Seattle area. That's awesome. That's awesome. So some of the items up for auction include a couple of your gloves, some cleats from guys like Julio and JP, even mm -hmm. a Cal Raleigh bat, uh, yeah. all of which are autographed, of course. Um, what's your favorite thing you've got listed on there? I'm curious. Um. Yeah, I mean, they're all great items. You know, I think I think guys gave what they could and um, what they were willing to put up for the auction. Um, the gloves of mine were were kind of a little outlandish. You know, I got some funny looks in the bullpen, bringing out some crazy colors and everything. But I wanted to make sure that they were game used and authentic and everything like that. Um, so, you know, it's it's a two way kind of thing. I think it's a win win. You know, some of the fans get access to some gear that they might not you know, necessarily be able to get their hands on every day. It's not like you get to see a Cal Raleigh sign bat on eBay or Craigslist every single day, you know? So um, if I had to pick though, I mean, Cal Raleigh's bat's pretty cool. I think I would want that hanging on my, on my bedroom wall when I was a kid, you know, especially after the big home run last year and him being my roommate and just really good buddy of mine. That's who I get to throw most of my pitches to. So um if I was, you know, if I was a younger Penn Murphy, I think I'd want that one. But we got a lot of great stuff. I mean, um, everything is game used. Uh, there's a couple turfs on there. You know, guys aren't necessarily playing in tennis shoes, but everything there, you can see the dirt stains. Um, Cal's bat is crispy, brand new. That's the only one. But, uh, yeah, everything there, my belt even. Um, we tried to scrap together some fun stuff for the, for the fans. So Yeah, I love the green glove. Green glove is sick. That's mint, the, mint, mint, yeah. mint, mint, yeah, the mint, the mint glove, yeah, yeah, it's sick. That's I like it. That's the one that got some funny looks. Like, dang, Penn, you're, <laughs> you're really, uh, you're really going for it there, huh? But yeah, I, I got a uh, 44 gloves. You know, they've they've been on the hands of a lot of pro guys, especially pitchers. Um, they were excellent to work with. They're fantastic. I love the gloves too. Um, mm. you know, a lot of times pitchers' gloves, it's kind of just how big can you get away with to hide the ball? And it's, right. you know, we, our job isn't catching the baseball so much, but 44 gloves makes a really, really dang good baseball glove. And um, they got a lot of cool customizable options. So at the beginning of the year, I tried to try to spruce it up a little bit, make it, make it attractive to the, to the fans because I knew that I wanted to run this auction and, and get that going. 